Did people around you were they shocked? Oh, that, yes. what was that like? <laughs> yeah, and to their, their to their to their credit, right? I mean, I went from being this like you know uber progressive, like you know rainbow flag waving like rah rah feminist to like a Catholic, like really rapidly, you know. Um, were there some people who didn't even know about the change until it had happened? Yeah, yeah. I think um, so. My family was fine because they were. <laughs> They were like, oh, okay, Catholics believe in Jesus. Like, th that's great, you know, in fact. And my mom's actually now become Catholic. Um, oh, praise God. So my my, my Christian relatives were, were fine with it. Um, so some of my colleagues, it's interesting, I got the most pushback on the abortion thing. So, um, like, I remember actually a, a colleague who was Quaker, which is funny to me, right, because Quakers are all about nonviolence. And I remember her saying to me, um, so are you going to become like pro-life now? You know, that was like, the, it was it was almost like, oh, you can be Catholic, that's fine, but like as long as you're not pro-life, right? And then I had a Catholic colleague who said a similar thing where she, I actually went to her when I was in this moment of kind of angst and I was like, I was like, so many of my beliefs about everything are changing, this is so disorienting. And she's like, oh, like what? And I was like, well, like, you know, abortion, like being pro-life. And she's like, like all the way pro-life, you know? She could tell she was like, be pro life, but not a spaz yeah, like about not, it. Yeah, not excessively <laughs> pro life. Just like, yeah. so, yeah, I. Um, and did I, you yeah. find yourself having to kind of like maybe curb what you actually felt about abortion in front of your colleagues because you didn't want them to? I mean, I, I wasn't like, con you know, um, confrontational about it, but yeah. I don't. I think because I spent a decade speaking a lot of bullshit and writing a lot of bullshit like i i will be honest about what i believe you know i'm not gonna hide what i believe mm. um even if it if it ruffles some feathers or you know again i'm not gonna be like aggressive or confrontational about it but um so no i mean i you know i would be honest and did the the gay marriage thing was also like i remember being once in a in a faculty meeting where um you know, someone because actually the university has a stance that supports the idea of traditional marriage, um, but you know, a lot of people kind of dissent from that, and I used to. And then when I just sort of said that, well, I actually agree with that statement now. You know, I, I think people were like, "What?" <laughs> one 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 guy actually kind of like turned his back on me. It was weird. It was like this, like I reject you. You know, kind of like a Klingon. Wow. Rejection, like Star Trek style. <laughs> um, kudos to everyone who gets that reference, I did by not, the way. But you did. You kind of snorted. Did you get this? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Neil. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Dis discommodation. <laughs> it was like a. Anyway, sorry. I'm like, a, no, I'm a super going. Star Trek nerd also. Oh, that's way. awesome. I love it. Um, yeah. I want to be a Star Trek yeah, nerd know, if that I helps. Know. That's okay. My daughter Avil is super into it. You really? might meet her earlier. Oh, Every time I've showed her, she really liked it. <laughs> She's so terrific. You'll meet her soon. Awesome. She might even show up during the interview. Okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah, okay. And so this you were still at the Protestant college. Yeah. So they were okay with you having become Catholic? Yeah, they were fine. Hmm. Actually, I've had I've had a really wonderful time. It, it's been much easier to be... Uh, it's an evangelical Quaker school, which is a fun kind of um, niche. But it's been much easier to be there as a devout Catholic than an angsty post-evangelical <laughs> <laughs> who I guess isn't even sure what she believes so um i've had yeah and i've had you know and most people rolled with the punches pretty well they were like okay i guess this is you know abby's always been a little bit out there with what she believes and now it's just kind of catholic -y stuff so okay um, did you have students who would look to you to defend their feminist leanings and how did those relationships change as your opinions did uh yeah actually the most the most kind of aggressive hate mail I've ever received is from a former student who found out that I became Catholic. And this was actually years later. Um, and, you know, he wrote me this like really abusive, awful message on Facebook that was like in f at four in the morning or something. You know, it was one of those things where I read it and was like, oh, wow, he's in a really not in a good place in his life that you would like go out of your way to write someone such an abusive thing in the middle of the night. like. And, and yeah. prior to this, you had friendly relationships with this kid? Yeah. And then he just 
Exploded. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't talked to him in a couple of years because he'd graduated, but yeah. he had been one of the LGBT students that I had kind of mentored. And so it was the gay issue thing. It wasn't over feminism. It was, yeah, I think it's the abortion and gay marriage have been much more like people who support those things are ha, were much more um, skeptical or even disapproving or even just like full on like rejecting um, once I became Catholic, yeah. Mm. But for the most part, it's been fine. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.